Hey guys, me again. I just wanted to talk about the um, F410 printer and its probing system. Um, <clears throat> it uses a conductive um, probing uh, method. Unlike the F400, uh, it that uses an IR uh, board. And uh, the glass is different. So, the F400 has the little black squares on the corners. Uh, this is related to just the F410. Um, one thing you need to understand is that the, the circuit, uh, when, the, when it comes up and touches the bottom of your nozzle on your hot end, um, it completes a circuit so there's an extra wire that goes to these hot ends and it is located right there on on the upper left screw there and that extra uh, wire is for the the probing and in order for it to complete the circuit when the bed comes up, there needs to be metal tape uh, that takes uh, the uh, conductivity from the surface and brings it around underneath to the aluminum uh, heating element, which is where the other wire is. So you have two wires here for the heating element and then you have one extra wire sorry there's four wires there uh, three are for the heating and then the other smaller one you can see it actually bolts on right there that is for part of the Z probing method so you have to have conductivity from the top of your glass to that aluminum uh, heating element so this is what I'm using right here this is just aluminum tape uh, they, they use it for um, furnaces and stuff like that uh, it's really resistant to high temperatures um, it's very conductive uh, just aluminum tape is all it is uh, so you need to um, make so your tape goes from one side all the way around to the other side of your glass. So I usually put about an inch and a half width on the front and the back side on all four corners. It's critical that you have to have it on all four corners, otherwise you'll have probing issues. Another problem is uh, that these aluminum uh, heating elements here, they get gunk and stuff in between. Uh, like this, I had to scrape on all four corners there was all sorts of gunk in between that and the glass so what that will do is that will hinder uh, conductivity and you'll have probing mishaps and things like that uh, and what can happen is if you don't have good conductivity is when it rises up the bed rises up into your hot end it can push and push and push harder and harder and you see what happens when you push it can make conductivity all of a sudden when it pushes harder and then it'll think it just touched uh, and what it did was it just throw it off, threw off your whole uh, probing sequence uh, because then it's going to need to do it on all of your other corners so say it has to push extra hard on this side and then it just touches off on the other corners um, <clears throat> This corner is going to be way higher than the others. Um, so take the time when you're overhauling your machine to make sure that there's no holes in your tape where it probes it because it probes in the same spot over and over again. You want to make sure that your hot end nozzle didn't build up any plastic and go to, you know, probe off on that tape and knock a hole in it that's a common thing uh, 
and it won't be actually touching the metal. Uh, it'll be touching the glass behind it, if that's what happened. So that's a common thing. Uh, just make sure that, uh, oh, another thing is, if you have plastic on your nozzle when it goes to probe off, it, uh, it can deposit a little bit of plastic onto the tape, and then it'll harden. Then when you go to probe the next time, if you haven't, if you didn't catch it, that little bit of plastic will uh, hinder conductivity again. So you want to just make sure that there's a good uh, conductivity all the way around. And I always um, make sure that the nozzle is not oozing as the bed travels up to touch off on the nozzle. Uh, so I'll actually wipe it with a paper towel as it's rising up so that there's good uh, contact there and uh, you want it to touch off as soon as it touches the nozzle you don't want it to be pushing into it um, so these uh, little precautions here can help eliminate probing problems there's a lot of guys that have those sorts of things uh, as long as you do this you won't have any problems uh, just take care of the tape on there um, what I do sometimes is, uh, you know, the tape kind of gets a little marred up over time, and I'll take a new razor blade and gently uh, condition the tape. You can kind of rub it like this, and it will uh, get rid of high spots and kind of even things out a little bit. Uh, I don't have tape on there right now, obviously, but that's kind of what I do. I don't cut in like this. I just kind of let it glide over the top and smooth things out. It kind of takes the bits of dust that may have built up on there and any uh, plastic residue that may have been left behind. Uh, it will do that and it will get rid of the oxide layer on the outside of the tape uh, and expose new metal, which is better for conductivity. Uh, so just a couple tips there. Um, for that um, the probing setup okay oh uh, I got a little bit of a thicker piece of glass I'm experimenting with here uh, I want something a little more rigid uh, that doesn't flex as much because of the size of these beds uh, the thinner piece of glass you know they're pretty thin um, so I've got a uh, a one-eighth piece on there right now and uh, I want to see how that uh, how that goes I'll probably have to raise my temperature of my bed uh, maybe five to ten degrees extra but that's okay I just I'd rather have a good solid flat bed that won't have any higher low spots um, just be real flat so anyway just a couple things to throw out there for you guys, all right? Take care.